So we were born into homelessness, I guess you could say. We, we were always on the lower scale of poverty. And I appreciate living through that though, because you see the world differently. <laughs> We are rapping, singing, holding a voice for people like us, people who are commonly not invited to the table. We're black Muslim women. That in and of itself, you can all, you could probably name off the challenges I faced, right? Because of our unique identities, it's like there's always people who are gonna say you don't belong there. Right, somebody's always saying something. We're too Muslim for the black community, too yeah, black, black for the Muslim, Muslim community, community, too outspoken to yeah. be Muslim women. Or viewed as oppressed in the women's community. It's just, like, it's, it's just a bunch. It's like people so, and then, so, on top of the communities that we represent, the communities that we don't represent shun us out too. So who was by my side was my twin sister. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of, sometimes people have to go through and maneuver these challenges alone and these negative interactions alone, but I always had my twin sister. And then we had our mom, a guiding light to kind of help us go through that. My mother's my best friend yeah. after my twin sister. I was about to say, don't do yeah. me like that. Yeah, no, yeah. She's my first best friend. My mom is my next best friend. <laughs> <laughs> So from a very young age, our mother wanted us to appreciate who we were first. just first. As we grew older, she saw how much, like, how we really expressed ourselves with the art that makeup is, and then, you know, she let us indulge. We went to Sephora, and we were like, yo, help a girl find her color, yeah, okay? Yeah, Cause yeah. Cause sis had numbers that we didn't even think existed, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and so uh, we walk in, and we, and we get help from this kind beauty advisor. And, and she was like, boom, boom, swish, swish, splat, splat. This ain't you, this is you, this is your undertone, blah, 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 bam. Bless thou heart of that person that helped us yes. because I think it works. Do you think it works? As Muslims, we celebrate two holidays, definitely. Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. We started this new tradition within like the last two years to create goodie bags and give it out to the children on Eid. And to see like the smiles on people's faces. I'm grateful to be able to do that because I, you know, I wish that I had that more as a, as a child. So I, it's, 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 it's amazing. Yeah, it's a blessing. Our mission is to inspire, encourage, and engage all people, but especially young people through the arts. And for them to know that they are necessary, that they belong, mm -hmm. and that their voices are heard. Yep. Period. <laughs> I'm gonna add that in there. Huh, whoever you are, huh, whoever you be, yeah, that's where you belong, that's your community. Ain't gotta sit in the silence, you better yell in their ear, tell them you with ain't afraid. afraid. You ain't got no fear. Tell them your passion is blasted and ain't no class in your action. Tell them you rock with your fam and that means more than your cousins. Tell them we love and smiling, we scream and stop all the violence. We want a world of peace and, and that's, that's the true beauty. Ain't afraid. <laughs>